let's take a look at this percent change application problem. It states that in the year 2000, Canada's population was 31,496,800, and 40.3% of those Canadians used the internet. By 2008, Canada's population was 33,212,696, and 84.3% of Canadians used the internet. So we want to calculate the annual rate of change rounded to two decimal places in the number of Canadians using the internet. Let's visualize the problem by setting up a timeline starting in the year 2000 and ending in the year 2008. In 2000, the population was 31,496,800. So we'll put in P for population here, and that'll be 31,496,800. And the number of internet users would be 40.3% of the population P. In 2008, 33,212,696 uh, was the population, and 84.3% of that population used the internet. We'll call this population 2008, and this one over here, population 2000. So the number of internet users in the year 2000 would be 0 0.403. To get rid of a percent, we divide by um, 100, which means we move the decimal over one, two places to the left. Of means to multiply. And our 31,496,800. And we work that out. It ends up to be 12,693,210.5. Using the same process, we find that the number of internet users in 2008 is 27,998,302.73. Now we know we can't have 0.4 or 0.73 of a person, but we're going to keep the decimals for now to increase the accuracy of our solution. Now because we want an annual rate of change, let's break up our timeline into yearly intervals. So we could have 2002, 1, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, and 2008. What the question is asking is what consistent percent change per time interval will give us the increase in the internet users from 12,693,000 etc. in two, year 2000 up to almost 28 million in the year 2008. Because the number of internet users has increased, we're going to assume that the percent change has increased over each time interval and was consistent. And we can represent that by 1 plus r, r being the percent change or rate of change. And this will be consistent over each time interval, all the way up to 2008. We also know that the number of internet users in 2000 is the initial value, and the number of internet users in 2008 is the final value. And we know that if we take our initial value and multiply it by successive regular percent change increases for each time interval, we're going to end up with our final value. So initial value times the overall increase in time interval 1 times the overall increase in time interval 2 all the way up to um, time interval 8 will equal our final value. So now we have an equation, this one here, with one variable, r. We can solve for r. Step 1 would be to note that each of these percent increases are the same base. So we could represent this as 1 plus r to the 8th. Using laws of exponents, we really know that there is an exponent of 1 on each of these. And so when we multiply like bases, we add the exponents. And that 8 also represents the time interval, 8 years from 2000 to 2008. We've added in the initial value, and that multiplied by the successive increases equals our final value. So the next step is to isolate the... Um, is try to isolate r. So we're going to get rid of the initial value. So to get rid of that, we do the opposite operation. So we're going to divide by 12 million, etc. 
and whatever we do to one side, we got to do to the other. These numbers cancel, so we end up with 1 plus r to the 8th, and 27 million divided by 12 it gives us 2.205770002, and we're going to keep all the accuracy as much as we can at this stage. Next, we want to get rid of the power 8, or the exponent 8. So we do the opposite of that. And so that means taking the 8th root of both sides. Another way to think about that is to multiply this by 1 8 Because, remember our laws of exponents, if we take the power of a power, exponent of an exponent, we multiply these two, and 8 times 1 8 will give us 1, and that will eliminate that uh, particular uh, exponent. But whatever we do to one side, we've got to do to the other. So here, I've got to put this to the power of 1 8. So this becomes 1 plus r to the exponent 1 equals, and I'll put this number in in a second, but 1 divided by 8, another way to do that is decimal 1, 2, 5. And anything to the power of 1 is just itself. And this number to uh, using the y to the x button on the calculator to decimal 125 gives us 1.1039388789. One now we want to isolate r, so we want to subtract 1 from this side, and whatever we do to that side, we've got to do to the other side. So we'll subtract 1 here, and we've got to subtract 1 here. And 1 minus 1 goes to 0, so we end up with r equal to, and 1.1, 1. 1, etc., minus 1, we'll just leave us with the 0.1039388878 part. Now we want this rate of change as a percent, so to make a percent, we multiply by 100%. That means moving the decimal two places to the right. And when we do that, we end up with r equaling 10.3938878. And we want to go to two decimal places. So we look at, we're rounding to here, the 9. We look to the right. The 3 is not 5 or bigger. So this becomes r equal to 10.39%. Actually, that should be a percent there, too. And there you go. There's our answer. In other words, the annual rate of change over the eight time intervals, or eight years, was 10.39%. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching.